What's up, my fabs and besties? Today feels like Christmas. Why, pray tell? Because we got a new smart doll. Yeah! Designed by Danny Chu and wrapped up in that oh-so-recognizable smart doll carrying bag. Keep calm and carry a smart doll. In our last smart doll unboxing, I might have mentioned that I am mildly obsessed with the new semi-real sculpts. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to mess up the hair. So yes, this doll is also a semi-real. This doll has been sitting in my house for about a week. I ordered it online at shop.smartdoll.jp and it was a pretty penny like most smart dolls are. Let's go ahead and take this box out. She was priced at 52,000 yen, which comes out to be around $489, give or take. Wrapped in bubble wrap. She is all extra protected. All right, let's get her out of the bubble wrap. And then we need to get her out of the plastic. I'm glad they take such care to make sure they arrive safely. All right, here we go. There she is. Say hello to Reflection. This doll has the Coco skin color. Genesis, our first semi-real, her color was called Cinnamon. Reflection comes dressed in white undergarments. There is a hole in the back for a doll stand. She has these golden brown eyes. It looks like she has a light pink eyeshadow. Her lips are pretty neutral. There's a little hint of pink there. She has a very serious look. Personally, that is my favorite. Most of my collector dolls look pretty serious. This is a vinyl doll. It is a little squishy in some parts. She is fully articulated with movement at the head, upper chest, shoulder, a double joint at the elbow, movement at the wrist, upper torso, hip, knee, and ankle. Since this is such a soft vinyl, it does scratch easily. So you really have to be careful with that. I almost want to go cut my nails off. Any kind of oil on your skin will also show up on this doll, more so than some of the lighter skin tones. This doll stands 24 inches tall, which is a little tall for the frame of my camera at the moment. So we're just gonna have her sit on this little stool we made while we check out some more goodies. We got a few things in here. I was trying to meet the free shipping threshold. At least that's what I told myself. That was my excuse for getting so much stuff. We have extra hands, pack number two. More extra hands, pack number one. What's this? Is Oh, it's a sponge, that's right. Our beautiful Coco girls come with a sponge to help with some of the little blemishes that might happen on their vinyl skin. This is her default wig. Here we have some eyes. Yeah, cause that wasn't creepy. Ah! And this has our stand, along with some warnings. Stop and first read the welcome guide at welcome.smartdoll.jp. Choking and poke hazard contain small pointy parts that humans or animals should avoid swallowing or poking eyes with. Avoid getting fingers pinched in joints. Avoid prolonged periods in strong light. Keep joints dry. Whatever you do, do not feed after midnight. <laughs> I always love that part. Use stain prevention measures if using dark clothing. More accessories at shop.smartdoll.jp. Social media hashtag is hashtag smartdoll. Here is the telescopic stand that attaches to the back of the doll, creating a tripod so it can stand. You can try to position it to hide behind one of the legs so it's not visible in your photos. Let's try on the default wig. Ooh, this one's kind of long. 
It's definitely got some volume there and a little bit of texture. The hair is dark brown and it has a little bit of a wave. It is straight on the ends, giving off some mermaid vibes, which is awesome because it is mermaid. I didn't buy any clothes this time, so I'm just gonna put her in a smart doll shirt. And let's change our background to a light pink. Okay, I like that better. Today we are going to attempt to change her eye color and hope I don't ruin this doll altogether. First, we have to remove her head. <gasps> don't worry, even though I am not a trained professional, I am a YouTuber, so same difference. Just joking, but seriously, I am a little nervous. This is a very expensive doll and I do not want her to end up with wonky eyes. But we've got to try. I watched a few tutorials, so hopefully I get this right. Let's start by removing the hair, then the head. Remove the top of the head. Oh, just comes right off. Okay, that's good. And there's all of that lovely blue tack inside holding her eyes in place. Let's remove all of that. Just like putty. Oh, this feels weird. I know oh, that's weird. Okay. I'm removing all of the blue tack from the eyes and from the inside of her head. I am changing her eyes to the semi-real gray eyes. At the current exchange rate, these were about $27. And they have a little bit of blue tack inside as well. So that's cool. Get some extra blue tack. Take the blue tack that came out of her head and let's divide it into two pieces. Roll it. I probably should have worn gloves. Put the putty around the eye socket. I'm using the end of a paintbrush to help me out because giant human hands, not so good here. All right, that looks about right. Repeat for the other eye. Place the new eye inside. Move it around a little to get it in the right spot. Move the putty to secure the eye where needed. I think that looks about right. Put the head back together and place it back on the body. Look at that. I did it. Changing the eyes was not that bad. I was definitely scared going into this. I thought I was about to ruin my very expensive brand new doll, but the whole process is pretty forgiving. So yeah, not scary at all. And I really like this eye color on her. Definitely feeling kind of brave now. So let's try something else. We have some crocheting supplies here and I am going to crochet a small chain. This is probably the wrong size needle for this. Probably need something smaller, but this is the smallest I have for right now. So ah, we're just gonna work with what we got. All right, I'm making a tiny chain here. Now we're gonna loop it around to make a little circle. Disclaimer, I am not the best crocheter or at the best at crocheting. I can do a couple of simple stitches to kind of skate by. So I'm just making like a little beanie hat here. It doesn't have to be perfect because hopefully we won't see it when we're done. This is not the neatest job in the world, but I am starting to remember what I am doing. So that's a plus. It's kind of more difficult with the camera in front of you, but there we go. This is going to take a while. I'm trying it on the doll and it's looking pretty good. I might go around one more time and decrease the crochets to make it a little tighter around the edge. When I get it to the size that I want, we're just gonna tie and knot the end. Take the tail end of the thread and just tuck it back through the little cap. Depending on what color thread or yarn you use, you may be worried about staining. So you can wash it a few times to try to remove any excess coloring, or you can make sure your thread or yarn is color fast. Now it's time to bring out 
Those Bobby Boss micro locks. I already had these at home. I bought them from a beauty supply store a long time ago to see if I wanted to use them. And then I was like, man, micro locks is just too much work. So I went with a larger one for myself personally, but we still had these. So we're gonna use them today. And I'm using a latch hook. It has a little latch here on top. This is pretty easy to find at almost any beauty supply store that carries braiding hair and the like. We are about to give our smart doll some faux locks. I think the best way to do this is on the doll's head, but I don't want to take the chance of scratching her. So I lay a piece of cotton fabric on the doll, put the cap back on to protect her. This hair is supposed to have a loop on the end so we can crochet it right into the cap, but it's kind of fuzzy and I am not loving the fact that there are four joined together. So I need to separate these. But if I just cut this, then it's going to unravel and be a mess. So take a bobby pin, put it near where you want to cut. Let's wrap it around a few times, then back through the opening like so. Cut off the excess, get hot water. Warning, hot water is hot, so proceed with caution. Dip the hair into the hot water. I'm gonna hold it for a few seconds. Ooh, that steam, it's getting to me there. Take it out, allow it to cool, then remove the bobby pin to set a tiny curl and hopefully it won't unravel. Find the center point of the hair, use the crochet hook, go through one of the openings, grab the hair in the little hook, close the latch, pull it forward, Open the end, take the ends of the hair, pull it through, and pull tight. Continue going around the edges, looping the locks in place, then fill in the top. I ran out of hair, so that's gonna have to be it for today. Besides, it's pretty full, but it is puffy, so I'm gonna just pour a little hot water over it and allow it to dry. Make sure to remove it from the doll before pouring the hot water. Allow it to dry. Place it back on the doll. I probably need to do another hot water rinse to get it to lay the way I want it to. And a little more length would help with styling, especially with keeping the ones in the front out of her face. But overall, I really like this look. I must confess I am a little partial to locks because I do rock them myself. I almost have a smart doll mini me. The skin tones totally don't match. But who knows, a caramel colored smart doll may be in the future. Somewhere between the tea and cocoa skin tones. Back to this doll, the wig came out pretty good. I should have made the wig cap a little bit bigger. Yeah, I should have did that, and I probably should have made it a little tighter around the edge. That's the only thing that I'm not 100% happy with. If I could find an elastic, I might go back and add that later, or just order some more hair and try again. The wig took me about three hours to make. The hair originally cost me $13.99. The yarn, if you had to buy it brand new, was $3.99, so what is that, around $18? We got a wig for less than 20 bucks. I love how customizable smart dolls are. The hand options are probably one of my favorite things. This is hand pack one. It was about $93. We bought this same pack for Genesis, but I needed it in Coco. And now she can do this, 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 and this. Hand pack number two costs the same, but here her hands are open, fingers together. What is this, like a cupping motion? Like maybe when she is swimming? And here her hands are curled so she can hold on to a cup of coffee. All the little swimming hands are so cute here. I am definitely very happy with my new smart doll and I can't wait to spoil her with some new crafts. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at the semi-real smart doll reflection. 
Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye Would you